Hi, and thanks for checking out our video on Encore's Time Master, a powerful, flexible, yet easy to use time management application for your iPhone or iPod Touch. We're going to have four videos on this application. This first video will cover the time entries. We'll have a separate videos for expenses, reports, and setup. Okay, let's dive right in. On the time entries, we're going to enter a new time entry by tapping on the plus button. And let's say that we have a new client and we're going to add a new project under that client. So we're going to tap right on project and we're going to add a new project right on the fly here. So we put in the name and let's say that we were doing a TV guide app for them. And we need to enter the client, so we click on client. It doesn't exist yet. Again, we just enter this right on the, the fly. We have optional codes, which are for clients, projects, tasks, and expenses. And you can enter a special code if you need that for your pur own purposes. Or if you're exporting data, either through the HTML email or using our Mac or PC Time Master Central application, which is free, which can do backups and restores and can also do CSV exports of all the data. So we're going to put in a rate now and let's say that we're going to bill them $90 an hour and we're going to save that. Also I should mention that in the setup that we have a global rate which will be the rate used for all the billing if it's not specified in either a client project or task. So that we set that to 95 and we decided that we were going to overwrite it to 90 in this. So now we're going to pick pick that customer and if we want we can even override the client's rate which we set at 90 to 85 just for this project. So we're going to say that we're going to give them five dollars and off an hour for this project only and again an optional code so now we have that now we have our project in there so now you can see that in our new entry we've added a project and it also pops in the client right away the time and date are created when we create this record we can go in and we can change the start time we could change the stop time let's say that we finished at 909 and that will give us duration of three minutes where we could say that we work for eight minutes and it'll automatically adjust that. We can have uh, different rates. The rates work by the global first, then it's a client, project, task, and then you can also have a custom rate just for this one single time entry. So if, say for example you didn't want to bill them for this one entry, you could set it to zero if you wanted to give them a freebie for some reason. So and we can set a description for this so let's say we met with client good thing for spell check here and that's our entry oh i should also notice that if you turn it sideways you can get the big keyboard our app works either portrait or landscape so whichever way you prefer working is fine and we're going to save this now if you want to use timers all you need to do is click on the little gray area here in that column and that will start a timer and we can stop it by clicking on it and uh, I'm going to make one jump over here to set up to show you about rounding you can set rounding and we could round up say to the nearest minute or we could put the nearest which if it's 30 seconds it will round up to a minute if it's 29 seconds it would round down to zero minutes and if you're down and you had 59 seconds it would round down to zero so let's look at what happens if we go up and we go back to our time entry you can see it's up to two minutes now if we go to nearest And see it went down to one minute because it was less than a minute and a half and down would go down so I'm just going to remove the rounding again for now set that back to none okay so we have one minute six seconds 
we have a couple powerful filters we can use on this. We can have the dates. We can look at just today's entries. We can look at this week's and the last week's. And we can do the entries just for this month if we want to just see those. And we can also filter by clients, projects. We just wanted to look at the TV Guide app. We could select that. Or tasks. So I'm going to leave this on all entries. I want to make one other note here on the setup we have something called week starts. So if, say for example that your work week starts on a Tuesday and goes through a Monday instead, you can select that here. Then when you look at anything, either the time entries where you're using the filters or the reports, and you select something that's a week, like this week, you'll see that our week goes from the Tuesday through the Monday. So, or last week we'll do last Tuesdays through, through the previous Monday. The last thing I want to show you here is that you can sort these by tapping on the columns. You can make it ascending date order or descending. You can sort by client. And I'm going to leave it sorted by descending date. And also if you tap on the time, we'll change between the fraction value of the time or the actually hours, minutes, and seconds. So that wraps it up for the time entries. Please check the next video for expenses. Thank you.